Today I'm going to show you how to implement a heat map with the Google Maps SDK in Xcode in the Swift programming language. So the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is to get the SDK installed into Xcode. So just make sure you have CocoaPods. Uh, if you don't, you can just follow this uh, tutorial here uh, by Google. I'll put this link in the description. You just do uh, a, a, a pod init in your directory of your project. Uh, add these two lines to your um, pod file and then you do pod install and then you need to get your API key and then you can get going. So let's get right into this. So the first thing you do is uh, add some arguments to your uh, class just GMS map view delegate and then a CLL location manager delegate and then we're going to uh, go ahead and get some variables uh, in here. So the first thing we're going to do is private var list and in this list we're going to have a GMU weighted lat long coordinates and then we're going to do a uh, private var map view and in this we're just having a, a a GMS map view, GMS map view, force and wrap, and then uh, we're going to do a uh, private var, uh, let's call it heat map layer, and this is a GMU heat map title, title layer. Uh, so for your uh, main storyboard, you should just have a, a view controller here with nothing else on it. Uh, this project is a a previously used project as you can see is like a, a file name and stuff like that but don't worry about that uh, I just did that to uh, save myself some time uh, instead of re setting up uh, all of the uh, SDK stuff so after a heat map layer we need to do our uh, our different gradients so in a heat map you have different um, gradients right you have different colors things like that so uh, this uh, you can go ahead and play around with this a little bit if you want um, towards the end uh, we'll call it gradient colors, colors, and we'll just do a uh, UI dot color. Actually, UI color dot green, and uh, will you do a uh, UI color dot red? You know the usual. Those are the very standard ones. You could do something like blue and yellow too, or whatever. Uh, so we'll do a uh, gradient start points, and in this case, uh, these are just um, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 and we have to cast this as an NS number and um, that's pretty much everything that we need to do for the initial setup there we also need to go ahead and get our location manager going so in our location manager we'll do a CL location manager um, actually let's do but location manager equals CL location manager right and now we just need to uh, go in here to our load view. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get our location, right? Get our location on the map. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say uh, location manager. Um, location manager. So we'll say location manager dot delegate equals self. And then we'll do a... Uh, Oh no. Next line. Location manager dot request always auth authorization. And now we'll go ahead and do our uh, location. This is just a variable that's going to hold our current coordinates dot location uh, dot coordinate. These are our current current coordinates uh, that it fetches. And then we'll say. Um, if uh, CL location manager dot location services is enabled, you gotta make sure it's enabled. We'll go ahead and say uh, location manager dot delegate equals self. So we're just doing the stuff up at the beginning, make sure we don't get like nils and stuff like that. Sometimes they do slip in, you know, depends on the user a lot with this kind of um, application. And we want our desired accuracy to be the best so we do KCL location accuracy best and then we'll do uh, location manager dot start updating location so that'll get our location updating nice and easy so now we need to go ahead and get our uh, our camera so basically where the where when you launch the app where we will be looking at right so we'll say let camera is equal to GMS camera 
position that camera and we want uh, specifically with latitude uh, longitude and then zoom so in this we're gonna do uh, our variable up here def lock def lock dot uh, latitude and we will uh, you know, actually we'll uh, force on that, that and then we'll do uh, def lock dot um, longitude same thing here and then uh, for zoom uh, this is something that you can play with uh, depending on your application right we'll go ahead and do 15 in this situation and now we'll say uh, map view equals GMS map view dot map with frame and camera so then we'll do uh, dot zero for with frame and then for our camera we will just put that camera variable that we just got done putting together and now we can say uh, map view dot delegate is equal to self and then map view dot uh, is my location enabled and we want that to be true <clears throat> and then finally we can say self dot view is equal to map view okay so uh, this should show us something let's see it's building okay build succeeded launching and working on it there we go okay so yeah so the current location uh, in the simulator is set to uh, Apple headquarters so that's working great it's showing our location that looks good great so we can move on so now we need to actually set up uh, our heat map. So we'll go into our uh, view did load. And uh, we need to set up our heat map layer. So we'll say uh, heat map layer, again, that variable that we defined at very, very at the beginning, our GMU heat map title layer type. We'll say our heat map layer is equal to uh, our GMU title layer. And then we will say our uh, heat map layer dot radius. Oops, radius. So these are things that you can play around with. It depends on your data set. It depends on um, what specifically you need uh, to portray to your uh, audience. So we'll set the opacity in this case just to 0.8 and then we'll do our gradient, our heat map layer dot gradient is equal to GMU gradient. There it is. And then uh, in this we'll do uh, the bottom one. So for our colors, we'll do that gradient color variable that we set up at the very beginning here. So just green and red. And then for our start points, we will do that gradient start points that we set up at the beginning. And then for uh, color map size, um, the pretty standard one is 256. Uh, again, just totally depends on your application, uh, how, you, how you need to portray your information. So heat map layer dot map is equal to map view. So this will uh, put that overlay onto our <clears throat> onto our map. So let's go ahead and run this and see how this looks now. Okay, everything's still building good. Uh, so we shouldn't be seeing anything on our uh, on our simulator yet, regards to the heat map, because we haven't done anything. We just have made the layer, but we haven't put any data into that layer, right? So we're going to go ahead and make a quick function here. We'll just call it a func uh, update heat map, something simple. And we'll pass it a latitude coordinate and a longitude coordinate. Let's do that. Both of which are typed double. And uh, so we'll say let chords equal, equal GMU weighted lat long. So we'll say uh, coordinate coordinate uh, this exactly. Uh, we'll say lat as CL location degree. Let's see here. CL location degree. There it is, degrees. And then uh, we want long as our CL location degrees as well. Uh, put that in the wrong spot there. Uh, so lat as that, long as that, uh, and then um, intensity, uh, we'll just set that to one, and I think, uh, let's see here, 
location. Oh, <laughs> I missed a, a function here actually. Can't pass two arguments. We have to make this one thing. So we'll say CL location, um, CL location coordinate 2D uh, make. There it is. Okay. So we'll delete this here and we'll just uh, move the parentheses like so. So this just combines those into a one 2D coordinate. Um, let's see here. Yep. Okay, that should be good now. And then uh, intensity needs a comma. Let's go ahead and build this real quick. Yeah, don't force cast it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that builds. So uh, we'll keep going. So now we need to uh, come back to the top here. Let's see. Uh, so our GMU weighted lat longs we call list. So we'll go ahead and uh, append our list with these new coordinates that we just made. So list dot append these new coordinates that we just made and now we need to uh, add these coordinates to our heat map layer so the way you do that is heat map layer dot weighted data list so uh, oh wait equals list All right so uh, this weighted data in our uh, list of weighted latitudes and longitudes uh, we add that to our layer and now we'll just update our heat map layer dot map is equal to map view. So this is just updating that overlay. And uh, the most important thing probably out of all of this is heat map layer dot clear title cache. So this allows it to update live. So this will be our function for updating our heat map live. So we'll just be passing it coordinates and it will be writing those coordinates to our map. Um, we need a function to actually um, interact with this heat map though. So I have a nice little function which will um, basically as we tap on the screen it will um, get those coordinates and yeah we will just do it that way where every time we tap we will get the coordinate and um, write a little heat map um, thing there. Sail location coordinate uh, 2D. There we go. Okay, so in this we need to just uh, simply update heat map. And then in this we pass in a coordinate dot latitude and then coordinate dot longitude. And yeah, that should be everything there. So let's go ahead and build this. Video's running a little wrong. Long, sorry about that. Um, okay, so okay, so here it is built. So if we tap, there it is. There's our heat map. So uh, you can come in here and you can change uh, all kinds of things, uh, like the colors. Uh, the, the gradient intensity, just know as you mess with the uh, gradient and stuff like that, uh, you need to make sure everything stays equally weighted, otherwise as you add more and more data points, uh, things will get more and more faint. So if we zoom out here, let's go ahead and see how it looks if we zoom out a lot. We still see the point. Our GPS uh, locator is kind of blocking that a little bit. So yeah, there it is still. So, I mean, we can tap anywhere here technically. There you go and uh, we still see our, our uh, heat map updating live. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, so you just have to get the user location, uh, get the map working, and then create that heat map layer and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.